Hello, Jaguars. It is Miss Newman, and I'm here with your IB Read Aloud for the month of April. The IB attribute for April is reflective. And reflective means thinking about and learning from our experiences. So I have been reflecting a lot about the experience that we've all been having this year about being disconnected and having trouble communicating with the people close to us and the people in our lives. So I have um, brought to you this month a book by Annie Castillo and it's called Ping um, that deals with that whole idea of reflecting on communication and what we send out into the world and what we get back from the world. Um, she uses in her book, she uses the metaphor of the from the game ping pong. So I just want to make sure we all remember what ping pong is. It's the game that has like a blue or a green um, table and one person pings the ball and the other ping pongs the ball back with a little paddle. So in the game of ping pong, just like in life, we only have control over what we ping. Okay, so I can say something or I can teach a lesson and what I send out there, my ping is what I can control. What we get back, the pong, I just have to wait and see what comes back and it has been really interesting, I think, for teachers to ping their lessons out into Zoom. I think we've all uh, been learning how to do that or if you send a text message, that's your little ping and you can't control whether you get a message back. That would be the pong that would come back. So Annie Castillo kind of wrote about that in her book, Ping, which I'm going to read to you. Ping, ping freely, ping bravely, ping wisely. To my beloved fellow humans by Annie Castillo. My friend, in this life, we can only ping. The pong belongs to the other. You ping, they pong. You ping, they pong. You might ping a big smile, and there are many possibilities. The pong might be smiling back, getting scared, getting angry, or not even noticing. Although it's good to imagine the best possible poem, it helps to remember that it is not up to you. You can ping with your voice, with your fingers, with your brush. You can ping through a poem, a small gesture, or a big one. You can ping by expressing feelings that just need to burst out. I love you with a passion. You can ping to one, to a few, to everyone, to life. You can ping by bringing your mind, your heart, and dreams into the real world. To love is to ping. To live is to ping. Now that you know, ping freely, generously, curiously, ping passionately, tirelessly, bravely, and wisely, ping even if you're scared, ping adventurously, hopefully, joyfully, ping persistently, kindly, mindfully, ping far and wide, ping with all the love you've got. And if you want a lot of pongs, you must remember to ping a lot. And then, after you're done, breathe deeply and with an open heart, you might be ready to receive the pong. Time to listen. The pong is giving you something. Is it something to learn? Something to think about? Something to be thankful for? Is it something to challenge you, something to keep, or something to let go? You might feel like taking a pause. It could be short, or as long as you need. Now, my dear friend, what will your next ping be? The end.